Hello and welcome back to another Empowered Token Sale tutorial. This is part two of two. The first part was focused on completing KYC and this part will, part two will be focused on how to reserve EMP and purchase EMP. So obviously the first part of this whole process is completing the token sale registration here, which includes KYC. So if you haven't done this part of the process, then I'd recommend watching um, part one of our tutorial, which will step you through all of that. But in a nutshell, to complete the token sale registration, you need to complete KYC and complete this founding community NFT section, which is only relevant if you have a founding community NFT and then complete the terms and conditions. So once you complete the token sale registration, you are now ready for the reserve EMP slash join sale queue event. And this will occur on the 22nd of Jan at 12 p.m. UTC. So at that particular time, we'll send out a notification via email and also on social media, uh, Twitter, Telegram, and Discord to notify everyone that the reserve EMP process is open. And from there, you'll be able to reserve EMP from your token sale dashboard. And one thing to note with reserving EMP and joining the queue, it will be a first come first serve type of a queuing process. So the quicker you reserve EMP for a particular round, the better your position in the queue. But we can break this down further on. So what does that look like? So you come down here um, to this section here. So my tokens is the section you wanna expand. So when you come to here, you'll see the token requests and add new requests. If you want more information around the details, like a really um, breakdown of this process, what you can do is hover over this question mark here to see the instructions. And this breaks down everything in more detail. So when you're on the dashboard, make sure to hover around that and um, you'll see a more detailed uh, breakdown of the instructions. But for me, we'll go to this step here, which is add new requests. So you come here, select the round that you want to reserve EMP for. Uh, here it will indicate the minimum and maximum amount of EMP you can purchase. For this round and for round two as well, the maximum EMP is 1000 EMP, which converts to approximately 250 USD. And for the sake of this, I'm just going to do 500 EMP. And what I'll do is click submit. And effectively, once you submit a request for EMP that will add you to the queue. And if I come back here again, I can select the next round that I want to participate in, let's say round two, whatever amount of uh, EMP I want to reserve between 100 and, and 1000. And then round three, you'd do the same. So for round three, if I want to reserve 4000 EMP, which is the maximum for round three, again, I'd click uh, submit. And once that's submitted, that effectively adds that reservation of AMP, that adds that to the queue. So now you are into the queue for round three for this particular amount. If you cancel that or that delete that request, that will remove you from the queue. And if you add a new request, you'll be added to the back of the line. Once we've reserved the amount that we want for rounds one and three, again, once every request for each round, once it's submitted as indicated here, that effectively means that you've entered the queue for that particular round. And then you come down here, as mentioned earlier, there are three main rounds for the, the token sale. There is a fourth round available uh, for any remaining EMP that are left over from rounds one to three. And so how we're gonna do this round four process is you come here and what you do is you click on it. And in this section here, you indicate how many EMP you wanna request uh, in round four. So this can be as, as many EMP as you want. You know, if you wanna request 10,000 EMP or 20,000 EMP, you'd put that in here. And essentially what, once you submit that, that will just collect information for, for each user around how many EMP they would like to um, purchase in round four, if possible. When we get to that point, we will analyze all the different requested amounts for EMP for each user. And from there, we will dynamically determine the amount each person can, can purchase based on the, the results from the round four survey. And the idea around this is that we want to, again, make sure that 
um, the people that want to purchase EMP can purchase as close to the amount that they want as possible, considering the, the token limitations that we have for the public token sale. So once you've requested the amount of EMP that you'd like for each round and the status on the bar is submitted, and that means that you are good to go and that you've entered the queue for each of the buying rounds that you have submitted for. And from here, what you'll do is receive an email when it's your turn in the queue. And from there, you'll have a 24 hour window to purchase. So at this point, you are, you are good to go. So when it's your turn in the queue to make the purchase, and again, you have 24 hours to make that purchase and you'll get notified by email. But when it is your turn in the queue, when you hop onto your dashboard, uh, you'll see that whatever round it is, that this uh, has changed from submitted to active. And if you read here, it says, congratulations, your request has reached the top of the queue. Okay, so the next step now is to read this and click, I understand and agree. So once you do that, it'll bring you to this section. So it'll bring you to this section. And from here, it will indicate how many ADA you need to send for the relevant amount of EMP you um, reserved for that particular round. So for this case, it's 103.31 ADA. So what you'd need to do is um, copy this payment address here, which is relevant to you, and then paste that into a Cardano native wallet. So a wallet that supports Cardano native assets. So this would be something like a Yoroi, a Nami wallet, a CC Vault, a Jiro wallet. This would not be an exchange wallet. So do not send this money uh, from an exchange wallet. It has to be a Cardano wallet. And you'll see here, this indicates the um, payment window uh, expiry period. So again, you have 24 hours to, to make this purchase. So when you're ready, what you do is you'd copy that from here, you click on your Cardano wallet of choice. For me, I use NAMI for this particular tutorial. Paste in the, the payment address as per the payment address here. And then you type in the amount of ADA uh, that is relevant to you. So again, this is indicated in here. So for me, that's 103.31 ADA. So I'll come down to send, type in your password, click confirm. That will process transaction submitted. So we'll do now come back to the dashboard and wait for that to process. Alrighty, so as you can see, the token sale dashboard has updated and this section here uh, has updated from active to complete and indicates here, thank you for completing your purchase. You have successfully secured 500 EMP tokens that will be made available to you following the token generation event. And if you scroll up here, will also provide an indication of the total number of EMP that you've purchased so far. So for me in this tutorial, I've only purchased the amount of tokens for round one, but as you go through purchasing tokens in round two and also in round three, that will again update this section here. So this is a live tracker of how many EMP you have purchased. So what would happen normally after you complete uh, round one, You'd follow the same process for round two, round three. So again, when it's your um, turn in the queue, you'll receive an email notification. You'll actually receive multiple e email notifications during your 24 hour window to purchase. Um, but when it is your turn in the queue, you'll hop onto your token sale dashboard and you'd repeat the same process for purchasing in round two and in round three. So once you've completed purchasing the tokens for round one, two, and three, what will happen is if you have uh, completed the round four survey, we will process all of that information and then send a notification to everyone who wants to participate in round four, how many tokens, uh, how many MP tokens they'll be able to purchase in that particular round. And this information will be sent to you via email. So one quick thing to note here is that this tutorial has been focused on the general public and the reserving and buying process for them. This is slightly different to the founding community NFT holders, but I've combined it into one video because the buying process is very similar, but instead of submitting requests and waiting in a queue, 
they'll be able to purchase straight away from Monday. So from the beginning of round one, they'll be able to make their purchase there. But the whole experience is essentially the same, which is why I've just combined it into one video. But again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via our submit support ticket. That's probably the very the formal way to reach out for assistance. Uh, alternatively, you can reach out to us on social media and ask for help there. But thanks for, for listening. Thanks for watching. And this concludes the part two of the tutorial. Thank you all for your support so far. And we look forward to the, the whole token sale process. And we'll see you on the other side.